Hey there guys! Welcome back to Bang Blam! For today's video, we're going to do a first impression for every Belena products. Like, as in, super dami guys. Ang dami. Ang dami. Like, wait, I'll show you. <laughs> so here it is. I got a bunch of products from every Belena. Halos puno tong bag. I even got some products from Hello Glow as well. This video is not sponsored in any way, but I got these products because I recently made makeup yung Mix Institute Glam Team sa Mr. Pilipinas Worldwide and Miss Philippines Finals netong October 24. So Everbelena is one of their sponsors, and lucky enough, um, they also gave these sa lahat ng makeup artists na nandun. So for those who don't know yet, I am also a pro makeup artist graduate of NYX Institute. So, si NYX Institute kasi siya yung official glam team of Miss Universe. So, other pageants na under the Miss Universe just like yung Mr. Pilipinas, yung Miss Philippines. So, si NYX Institute then usually ang kanilang official glam team. So, anyway, let's talk about the makeup na. <laughs> Actually, medyo nagmamadali ako today. Gusto ko na talaga siya isingit. Kasi at least mawe-wear test ko siya. We have a base. I'm not going to wear any primers today para matest ko talaga kung gano siya katiga sa face ko on its own. So, they have these new products. Um, Fearless Serum Skin Foundation. It already have skincare and it also have SPF 12, PA++++. And at the same time, it is also a foundation. So, automatically, I chose the shade Oriental kasi definitely, ito yung pinaka closest shade ko. So, I'm gonna show you some swatches first. So, this is Oriental. Ito naman yung mga classic shades ni Everbilene. And then, we also have here um, vanilla. And then, this is pearl. Ito yung pinaka maputi. So, here is pearl. Si pearl, definitely, it has like a pinkish undertone. While vanilla is medyo warm ng onte. Then, si Oriental, ito, pinaka pang morena nila, and may pinaka warmest undertone sa lahat. So, based on the swatches, definitely I'll go with Oriental shade. It says here that it's a Fearless Serum Skin Foundation. So, I'm not sure kung gano siya ka ka nipis sa skin. But, as you can see, Hindi siya runny. I was expecting na it's runny kasi it says here that it's a serum foundation. But the texture niya is parang medyo gel-like foundation. Ganon. So here, I'm gonna apply it all over my face. As you can see, may, I have a few blemishes here and there. Let's see if it can cover those blemishes. Wala tayong, uh, wala silang binigay na concealer. So, definitely, I'm going to use a different concealer for this one. Guys, first time ko talaga tong gagamitin ngayon. So, talagang yung magiging reaction ko dito is, you know, for reals. So, I'm gonna dampen my sponge using their um, Hello Glow Rose Water. Definitely, the coverage is more of a medium, guys. Hmm, the dance. In fairness, hindi man sobrang covered, but it was able to even out my skin tone, especially yung parts na may blemishes. Hindi na siya masyadong kita. So, ako medyo okay na ako dito eh. Pero sige, try natin. I'll add another layer. Siguro kahit dito lang sa part na to, so that we can see if it is buildable. Onting onti lang. Yan yan lang. Hindi na gumamit ng brush to compare the finish. Kasi naroon nagmamadali ako. And I wanna see how it looks on my skin uh, using the method that I usually use. Guys, surprising me. Ang ganda nung ang ganda na finish niya. Ang ganda na finish niya and ang ganda ng coverage. Parang saktong-sakto lang, alam mo yun. Madali din siyang i-blend. I think kahit kamay lang, kaya to. 
Mmm. Abi, natakpan niya yung ibang blemishes ko. Mmm. Nice. So now, since wala tayong concealer, I'm going to use a different concealer. I'll just use this one. Kasi recently, ito yung gamit ko, yung From You. Nutriwear Complete Cover Concealer in the shade medium. Ano to? Maganda yung coverage na tong concealer na to. In fairness. Oh, dito ko pa siya na-review. Pero maganda siya. Madalas ko rin siya gamitin. So there, I'm done with my concealer. Now, we're going to apply the blush. Isa to sa pinaka-kinai-excite ko ipakita sa inyo, guys. So, I got four of the Pillow Pop Liquid Blush. And I was actually planning to get this kasi meron ako nito nung nasa pot. And I really like that kasi napakalong lasting niya. So, I'm so glad that they also gave us this kasi I've been wanting to try this. So, yeah. We have the Fresno Toast of New York, their classic shade. And Raspberry and Rouge. So, I'm gonna show you the swatches first. So, this one is Fresno. Mm. I like this. I like this. Parang feeling ko tuloy ito yung kagamitin ko. The next one is Rouge. Ito talagang boom pack pink. <laughs> Barbie pink siya ganun. Mmm. Laki niya. Laki niya, oh. The next one is Toast of New York. Oh, wow. Hala. Parang gusto ko ni si Toast of New York. Parang feeling ko bagay siya sa akin. Bagay ito sa morena, definitely. Lalo nga, medyo nagtanak ko ng onti kasi galing kami ng ano, galing kami ng outing. <laughs> Medyo umitim na onti at tita nyo. <laughs> so, next one is Raspberry. Ito yung pinaka... I think ito yung pinaka darkest shade sa apat. Oh, wow. I, I also like this shade. Look at that. It's like a darker version of Fresno. Ito siya kapag na-blend. Ang ganda. Ayan siya. Ang ganda. Ang ganda nung... Sige. Convinced na ako. Kay Fresno ako. I'm gonna apply a dot over here. Fingers muna. Tingnan natin kung it, it can be blended using fingers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys, ang bilis na i-blend. And it is also quite pigmented. So, I think one dot is enough. Tingnan mo, ang layo na nang narating niya. <laughs> wow. And then, I'll just blend the edges using this sponge. What kind of like that? It's so easy to blend. And guys, be careful. I think talagang one dot lang talaga kailangan. Kasi ang pigmented niya. So, isang ganyan lang. Boop. Just a little boop. And then, blend it again with my fingers. Makeup beginners will love this. Kasi you don't need um, extra tools for it to work. Sobrang dali tight fingers lang. It didn't lift the, the base. Which is good. Kasi may ibang um, liquid blush na nakaka-lift siya ng base. This one, it didn't. And it has this translucency in it. So, hindi siya ganun ka-opaque. Meaning, kita mo pa rin yung skin underneath kapag binlend mo siya. Mm. Ang lakas maka-fresh nung shade ni, ano, ni Fresh nung. Ayan. Kita niyo ba? Kung maliwanag na naman masyado. Wait lang. Ito na ko na very light yan. Kita niyo. <laughs> so now I am going to set my face. Actually, recently favorite ko lang pang set ng powder ko, yung tiny buds lang yung nakalagay sa ganito ko. So yun na lang gagamitin ko. And then I'm going to use their new 
BB Flawless Serum Powder Foundation as a finishing. So, ito yung partner nung kanilang uh, serum foundation. Hindi ko alam kung bakit siya serum powder, but we'll see. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna set my face first with a translucent powder. So, there. Naset ko na siya ng translucent powder. Halos wala naman coverage. Actually, walang coverage tong powder na to. It's just a regular, parang siyang baby powder. Ano man? It's not a show. Parang napakita ko na to sa previous vlog ko. Pero, eto siya. Eto yung gamit ko pinang set ng powder. Pang baby powder talaga siya. So, anyway. Now, we're going to apply the serum powder. I don't know why it is called serum powder. Maybe because of its content. So, it is. it says here that it is skin blurring, oil control, skin brightening, infused with vitamin C, kaolin, and it has UV filter. So, I got two shades. I have matte oriental and matte natural. I'm gonna show you swatches first. Matte natural. And, and so, meron siyang lagay ng sponge roba and a mirror. So, oh, wow! Mm. Nagulat ako, sorry. <laughs> Nagulat ako pagka, ano ko, pagka sword ko. Sobrang smooth. So, yan. Definitely, this is not my shade. This is leaning towards a more pinkish undertone. And, let's try the matte oriental. Sorry, nagulat talaga ako dun sa texture niya pagka swatch ko. It feels so smooth. So, this is the matte oriental. Ang smooth talaga, I swear. And so, here is Matte Oriental. So, yeah, this is a lot warmer. But I think this is too dark for me. But I'll still try it for the sake of trying. So, I'm gonna, siguro I'm gonna apply it over here. And I can see na ang pino niya. Sobrang, I don't know if you can see it from the camera. Sobrang pino niya. Surprisingly, oh my, I'm gonna try it here since major visible pa iba kong blemishes. Maybe the powder foundation can cover it. So yeah, buti dito ko nilagay kasi I can see that it's a little too dark for me. Try ko kayo silang paghaluin with lang. So, I'm gonna try both of it. So, let's see. Yan, yan, yan. Mas dito sa nose. Kasi I wanna see the oil control power of this powder. Kasi it says here that it, it is infused with kaolin. Oh yeah, it really does have that skin blurring effect and I can totally see it. Kasi I didn't use any primer eh. So I really don't have very visible pores. But it did make my skin look smoother. I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. They didn't give bronzer so I'll just use this one from Vice. So, ayan, medyo natakpan kasi ng powder foundation yung blush natin. So, I'm going to add a little bit more blush. I'm gonna use this one from Caroline and this shade is Rosy Cheek. So, I also got this um, eyeshadow palette. It's Pro Iconic Eyeshadow in Jackpot kasi yun nakalagay sa likod. So, I'm not sure. But anyway, all of it are neutral. I'm just gonna use my fingers and then apply maybe this bronzy shade over here. I'll just apply it all over my lids. Hindi na ako mababongga ng eyeshadow. Kasi actually, pupunta kami sa kids party lang naman today. Kids party siya sa isang fast food chain. So, I don't think I need to do a fava voom look. <laughs> Hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented, guys. So, although this one, I don't think this is a new release from them. Alam ko, medyo matagal na to sa kanila. 
it is barely showing on my eyelids so i think i'll just use a different eyeshadow so there now i'm done with my eyeshadows this one tone eyeshadow and just blended it with a brush i'm now going to apply this eyeliner it is a supercharged liner and lash serum it says here it's infused with hydrolyzed keratins and it is smudge proof and waterproof first time ko magta-try ng eyeliner from everbilena kasi usually ang ginagamit ko sa kanila is yung brow products nila but this is the first time i'm going to use eyeliner from them so let's see Pag nabuksan ko, <laughs> kaya today. <laughs> there, finally. Nabuksan ko na siya. So, here's how it looks. So, yung tip niya, it is not a brush. It is a sponge. Sponge tip siya. And, hindi siya sobrang nipis, but this will do. So, let's try. I'm just gonna do a little wing. I'm having a hard time creating a very sharp line for with this one kasi nga it's a felt tip and so hindi siya yung sharp um, brush type so but this one is good for beginners now that we're done with our eyes I am now going to apply my brows we have a bunch of pro um, brow products here and this is their Shape and Set Brow Serum Duo. So, I got four shades. I have Honey, Chestnut, Brunette, and Cappuccino. Let's start with Honey. So, Duo siya kasi the other end have a wax. So, ito yung infused with keratin, vitamin E, and vitamin C. Ito yung parang serum side niya. And the other side is a brow pen. So, this is wait lang. Ayaw pang sumulat. Ayan. So, this one is honey. And then, next one is chestnut. So, this is chestnut. Medyo may pagka reddish undertone si chestnut. By the way guys, yung pencil is like a triangle shape. So, this type of brow pen, um, maganda siya for beginners. So, this one is brunette. Medyo hirap pa siya sumulat guys kasi bagong bago pa. So, si brunette is like a cooler toned uh, brown. And then, the last one is cappuccino. So, there. So, this is honey, chestnut, brunette, and then this one is cappuccino. These two have reddish undertones. And itong dalawa naman is more of a taupey shade or cool toned brown. I'd go with brunette muna. Let's see. Ito ko muna siya gamitin sa outer part ng brows ko. So, I think this one is really good for beginners. So, madali siyang gamitin. Sobra. If you have a problem with precision, you're going to love this because it's very easy to use. Wait, I'm gonna grab a spoolie. So there, nakaganyan siya. And then I'll just blend it. And then brush it with a spoolie. Now I'm gonna set it with a clear brow gel. Or wax. I'm not sure if this is a wax or a gel. Basta clear lang siya. I don't think this is a type that you can use to laminate your brows, but it is good enough to groom your brows.
medyo hard yung formula niya. Although, to some people, they like that. Ako, I personally love hard type, uh, the hard formula na brow. Some people like it a bit more creamier. Kasi parang, I don't know, it's it, it's your preference naman eh. But for me, I like the formula. I like the fact that it's hard formula. I do like that kasi it gives you more control. Oh yeah, medyo tumitigas din pala siya guys. Ayan, no, tinaray ko siya i-brush. Naramdaman ko na medyo tumitigas siya. Dust set guys ha. The brow gel dust set. Oh nice. I didn't expect it. Akala ko parang wax type lang siya. But apparently, it is actually a brow gel talaga. Ah, it's a brow mascara na clear. Na nagsasok. Tumitigas siya. Now, we're on to our mascara. So, they also gave us this mascara. The All Day Fiber Max Mascara. It says here that it keeps curl all day. It is smudge proof, waterproof, leaden fibers infused with vitamin E. So, here's how it looks. And So, here's the wand. Manipis yung wand niya and parang meron siyang medyo flatter side. So, I'm gonna scrape off the excess here on the edge of the tube and then wiggle that first on the roots. Just on the roots first. Just build that up. And then now I wiggle it from the roots up to the tip. I like the wand because it's a really nice wand for the lower lash. Look at that. It can actually grab every hair. I like the size of the wand. Especially for people who have eyes like mine. Yung medyo... Hindi naman, I cannot consider na talagang chinita ako. But my eyes are not that big as well. I don't know saan nakakategorize yung eye shape ko. But my eyes are not that big and they're also not very chinita. But they're quite, you know, a little bit elongated. So there, there. That's the first coat of the mascara. I think it did weigh down my lashes. Medyo na wala yung curl. If I added another layer, it can definitely build volume. But I'm already happy with that. I'm not going to add any more. So now let's proceed to the lips. So I have six lippies. And these are their K-Beauty lipsticks. So I'm gonna swatch everything. Let's start with the Paradise Nude. Here it is, Paradise Nude. A really nice like a peach tone auburn delight that's auburn delight sweet pea maple candy here's maple candy daily coral so this is daily coral I'll just switch it over here there. And for the last one, it's marshmallow berry. So here are the lippies. So I think I'll go with this one. This is the Paradise Nude. Mm, it smells. It smells good. It doesn't smell like a candy, but. Yeah, it smells like a bit of candy, but not the typical candy scent. It smells yummy, yun na lang. <laughs> it's very smooth to apply. It's very... It is opaque, I like it, but I think it will look better kapag merong lip liner. But I like this color. We also have their lip oils. So it says here it's a serum tinted lip oil which is moisturizing, lightweight, and long wearing with fresh natural stain infused with shea butter, argan oil, and vitamin E. This one is the glass slipper. This one. So this is I think clear and it changes its color 
magiging pink siya. So, ano rin siya? Magic. It's like a magic tint. So, it will turn pink pag in mo siya. This one is the rock and red. Here it is. Oh, I kind of like this color. I'll use it next time. It's like tomato red. But it looks nice. I like how red it is. And this one is the burnt caramel. Oh, it's I didn't expect for the burnt caramel to look like this. Wow, medyo nudish pink yung shade niya. Oh, I love this color. Oh my gosh. And then this one is Toast of New York. Again, it's their signature color or shade. There. Last but not the least, I'm going to show you their highlighters. I have the shade Spotlight and Strobe. This one is the strobe. It has a know, typical golden undertone. So here is gold. I don't know if you can see it because it's not so much sa skin tone. Ko. And then this one is the spotlight. Here, here's the spotlight. Imagine it's champagne. Naman siya. So this one is strobe and this is spotlight. So I'm gonna apply it on my face now using a small fan brush. Totoo ba to? Oh my gosh. Totoo ba to? Highlighter to na Everbilena. <laughs> I owe ever Belena an apology. Why? <laughs> Nagulat ako sa quality niya, guys. First time kong gumamit ng highlighter ng ever Belena. Honestly kasi, I'm a bit of a highlighter snob. My regular uh, highlighters are Dior, Ofra, MAC. So those are my three favorite highlighters. Kasi ayoko yung invisible yung chunks of glitters. So, I'm very surprised with Every Belena's highlighter. Look at that. And type up close, wala siyang visible na glitters. Like, bakit, bakit ngayon lang? <laughs> but ngayon ko na siya na-try. Like, hindi ba ito masyadong naha-hype before? Like, am I living under the rock? Bakit hindi ko alam na ganito kaganda yung highlighter ni Every Belena? So, Ever Belena, if you're listening, I'm so sorry for judging your highlighter. It turns out, it's really, really good. I like it. Oh my gosh. So, of course, I'm gonna spray my face now with, with a Hello Glow Rose Water. And guys, here is the final look. An almost entire face of Ever Belena products. First impression. So here. What do you guys think? The surprise din ba kayo sa quality ni Ever Belena? So I'm going to do a review for each product soon. And I'm going to wear test them as well. So for now, I just really want to see how it looks. First impression talaga. Kasi first time ko nagamit yung ibang products. And I'm really happy. I'm so glad that I had this opportunity to try these products. And surprisingly, I really love it. Especially the highlighter. I was so surprised with the highlighter, guys. You should try this. I don't know. Is this not hyped enough? Am I living on the rock? Bakit hindi ko alam yung tungkol dito? Oh my god, it's so, so, so nice. It's a really, really nice highlighter. So that's it for today's video, guys. I really have to go now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry if I was not able to upload weekly recently because I've been busy. Anyway, but please continue supporting me guys so i'll see you again in my next one bye